Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. Today we're going to begin to sew the dress together so that we can pleat it. We need to attach the sleeves to the front pattern piece and also to the back pattern pieces. So as you recall, I've got it marked in the center front, uh, mainly so that I don't have to count plates. Okay, so I've got my mirror image sleeve sitting here. I'm going to set one of them off to the side for a minute and turning it over so that I've got the word back um, facing the fabric. So I'm going to pin this in place. Okay, now the pattern says to do a one quarter inch seam allowance, then trim it to one eighth of an inch and then come back and zigzag, and then press the seams towards the sleeves. So let me get this pinned, and then I'll do my one quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, I've got that pinned. Okay, I've got my white thread in the machine. I've got it set for a straight stitch. And I'm gonna do a one quarter inch seam along this sleeve, this armhole opening. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. taking my pins out as I come to them. Look, my embroidery scissors in the other room. Okay, now using my fabric scissors, I'm going to trim this seam to one eighth of an inch and then come back and zigzag. There we go. Okay, now set my machine for a zigzag. Um, I think I'll just go ahead with the regular zigzag width. And then we will zigzag the seam that we just sewed.
Okay, so that makes for a tiny little seam. Okay, now I need to repeat this process on the other three uh, sleeve openings, but that'll take me a minute, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all four of those seams sewn and trimmed and zigzagged. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to go to the ironing board and press the seams toward the sleeves, and then we'll get ready to pleat the fabric. Okay, I've got that pressed and I've got my fabric rolled up on my five eighths of an inch wooden dowel. Now the smocking plate that I'm using by Creative Keepsakes, it's called Bumblebees. Um, I need to pleat nine rows. So I've got nine pleating threads um, in my pleater. Okay, so I will bring my fabric into the pleater and I'm gonna line the top edge up to where it's one half, where it's, it's between one half of the distance away from the needle with the top pleating thread. And just follow that groove going slowly so that I don't get crooked. And when I come to the seams, I'll pleat slowly so that it won't break my needles. Okay, this will take me a minute to get this all pleated. Okay, I've got that all pleated. Um, now I brought my neckband piece out because as I'm gonna block this for smocking, um, the, it needs to be as long as the neckband piece. But what I'm gonna do is, as I'm looking at the back, the left side, um, I'm gonna leave um, about a quarter of an inch seam allowance to sew the placket in on the left side. So using my seam ripper, I'm pulling some threads out. Being careful to use the dull side of the seam ripper so I don't cut my pleating thread. Okay, now I'll tie those off two and three at a time. Now over here on the right side, I need to have room for the placket and for the buttonhole band. Um, so I'm going to pull the pleating threads out about one inch from the edge. That'll give me about a quarter of an inch seam allowance for my placket and then about three quarter of an inch uh, for the buttonhole. Okay, so I'll tie those off in just a little bit. Okay, well, I'll tie those off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of the bishop or around the neckline tied off. Now you'll notice I don't fan my pleats out um, when I'm going to smock a bishop, uh, because the woman who taught me how to smock back in Jacksonville, Florida, back in 1983, she spent a lot of time working on my tension, so I don't smock very tightly. So I can get away with tying my bishops off this way and smocking. Now, the next thing I need to do on each of the sleeves, um, if you recall, um, I drew a blue line that was two inches in from the side of the sleeve. So I'm gonna pull my pleating threads you know, to the pleat closest to uh, the blue line and then I'm going to tie them off two at a time. Let me get the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna draw these pleats in on the sleeves until they're about three inches wide. And 
and then I'll tie knots, but that'll take me a minute to do. Okay, so I've got my neck edge pleated and tied off. I've got both of my sleeves pleated and tied off, leaving about two inches on either side of the sleeve. Okay, now I'm gonna begin smocking using the Smocking Plate Bumblebees by Creative Keepsakes. And just so you know, uh, the DMC colors suggested in the pattern are the colors that I'm using. Okay, all right, thank you.